we're going to do a log expansion here using the laws of logarithms. So we need to look at the laws of logarithms. I have them written down right here. Well, there's some right here. The algebraic properties in the lower left and also the other two that are circled here. So these mainly we're going to be using the ones on the lower left. The first one we're going to be using is the exponential one at the bottom. So an exponent becomes a coefficient. Multiplication inside becomes addition outside and division inside becomes subtraction outside. Those are the three that we're going to need. So let's first of all rewrite this. So it's log of, now I'm not going to write the square root as a root, I'm going to write it as a power. So we have x squared plus 11 in the numerator, x squared plus 18 times x cubed minus 2 to the 16th power. All of this raised to the 1 half power. All right, step one, we're going to deal with the outermost power first. That power, the exponent, comes out as a coefficient. So it's 1 half log x squared plus 11 over x squared plus 18 times x cubed minus 2 to the 16th. Okay, so now we have division right here. There's two in the numerator, two different things, a product in the numerator, and one in the, or two in the denominator, only one in the numerator. So we can write this as one half times log of the numerator, x squared plus 11, minus what's in the denominator, log of x squared plus 18 times x cubed minus 2 to the 16th. Okay, so we're getting there slowly. Let's make some more room here. The first log, there's nothing else to really do. And if we scroll back up to the problem, uh, we would see that this is one of the forms to leave it in. Uh, however, there's a multiplication in here, which means this is going to turn into log of one plus log of the other. But there's still a minus sign out front. So we got log of x squared plus 18 plus log x cubed minus 2 to the 16th. All right, so we're getting there slowly. Let's distribute this negative inside. The other thing I'm going to do is bring this power out front as a coefficient. So that plus turns to a minus because we distributed the negative. And I already forgot that 16 should go there. Last step, we still have that half hanging out front. We're going to distribute it to all three parts, first, second, and third. So we got half log x squared plus 11 minus 1 half log x squared plus 18 minus 16 over 2 is 8, minus 8 log. Now here, we could factor x cubed minus 2. Uh, but let's not do that yet unless we have to. All right, so why did I not factor x squared plus 11? Because uh, that is x squared plus, so it doesn't factor over the real numbers. Same thing, x squared plus won't factor over the real numbers, but x squared minus will, uh, and x cubed plus or minus will factor. But let's see what form they want the answer in. So it's okay to leave it as uh, x cubed minus 2. Now when you do answer these, what they are looking for are the coefficients. Make sure you include the negative in those coefficients. Well, for the ones that are negative.